Welcome back to our YOLO Cometa career mode on Pro Cycling Manager 2021 in La Vuelta 2024. With only five stages to go, Lorenzo Fortunato has a whopping lead of 4 minutes 41 on Lucas Hamilton and 5.17 on Simon Yates in the overall GC. Today's episode's goals are secure the Giro Vuelta double with Lorenzo Fortunato, win the climber's jersey with Fortunato as well, and take over the white jersey with Juan Ayuso. Let's take a look at the stages. We're starting off with the bane of Fortunato's existence, a 39 kilometer flat time trial. We are likely to lose 5 minutes on this one I expect. After that a hill stage on which I can try and attack on the final climb. Stage 19 is similar but looks survivable with Oldani to be honest. And on day 20 we have the most important climbing stage of the 5 with 4 major climbs. Nava Serrada, Morchuera, Morchuera and Nava Serrada. Very symmetrical, I love this parkour. And I hope that we don't get the same collapse as Dumoulin in that one Vuelta in the past. After that, a final opportunity for Aldani in Madrid. Anyway, first the time trial. We've got a time trial set of 62, so uh, this is gonna be a train wreck. I don't know, 75, something like that with Fortunato. Only a plus one on time trial on the day, so not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping we would get like a plus five. Anyway, Fortunato first time check, 2.28, losing a minute 24 to Hamilton and two minutes to Simon Yates already after one time check. Jesus, that's not a great start for Fortunato. Lorenzo at the second time check, please don't be four minutes. 3.08, we're holding at the moment, still two minutes towards Yates, so we're kind of keeping the same gap, which I'm fine with. I went a bit too hard with Fortunato, I've got to go down towards 65 in the final kilometer and a half. That's not amazing either, let's take a look what he does at this very moment, finishing last, so we haven't passed any rider, obviously. It is... 4 minutes 58, Bissiga wins the stage, Gena in second, I don't know where we're at, I don't know what happened in GC, let's take a look. Fortunato stays in the lead with 142 ahead of Yates, Sivakov in third now on 230, we see no Ayuso in the top 10, so the others must have done pretty great. In the youth classification, Arensman extends his lead by a bit, but with a simple collapse on stage 20 from Arensman, we can still take that wide jersey. I believe. Yes, the gap is less, but I've got the feeling that it's still good enough to win this Vuelta with Fortunato. I was expecting to lose time, and it's roughly the amount that I expected to lose. Now the hill stage. Vingegaard is apparently the favorite for this one to get with Narvaez. I don't care. I just want to try and attack on that final first cat climb, and I'll try and do so with Fortunato or Yuzo, depending on a uh, which one is looking the best. The climb is starting Puerto de la Quesera, and I'm not looking good with Fortunato or Ayuso. I don't know what happened with our energy in the last 20 kilometers, but it just went down and went down everywhere. I'm gonna try and survive till the top. I don't have other ambitions at the moment, because I'm just not looking good energy-wise. A move by the others, Yates, Conchi, Wellens, and Martin, I cannot follow that. I'm trying to make sure I can keep Fortunato safe, because he's our main objective here. We got ourselves over the top on about 25 seconds of the front three riders, still Wellens, Yates and Martin, with three riders, Oldani, Ayuso and Fortunato. I think I can win this stage with Oldani if I play it right, so let's chase with Ayuso instead. And they are caught, perfect. Let's lower the tempo a bit towards 70, just make sure they can't attack. 65, Oldani needs to get to the wheel of Fortunato, who's the best lead out of the two. Actually, it's Ayuso. Hmm, I'll pace with Fortunato instead. There we go. Fortunato can react to the attack of Wellens right here on 85. Energy gel on Ayuso and Fortunato. Let's do 95. We've got energy to finish this off. Come on, my man. Come on, Fortunato. Lead out Ayuso and Oldani. Let's print with Oldani right now. Oldani goes. There we go. Oldani versus Yates. Oldani versus Yates. Let's try and get past. Oldani gets past and Oldani's gonna win the stage. This is perfect. Stage win once again for Oldani. That is number three in this race. It looked bad on the hill, but we survived and we won the stage, so I can't complain. GC-wise, a tiny difference. Yates takes a bit of bonus seconds, but not a big deal in my opinion. Ooh, we got an email. Slight tiredness for Lorenzo Fortunato. His morale is affected. Let's hope it doesn't affect the last few stages of La Vuelta. We can actually see it on this page. We see that we've got a plus three race day condition. We would have had plus four, I think, if the tiredness didn't affect us. We've got a lot of attacks going on, basically a group of 14 trying to get away. Fortunato keeping up the tempo with Oldani in his wheel. Let's sit up again. Another move, Sivakov going Wellens. Let's just wait and let the others take care of it. Three kilometers to go. Let's do 85 on Fortunato. Oldani in the wheel. Let's do 90. Something like that. Cobble section is still about to come, so let's watch out. 
We've got a user in the wheel of Oldani. Let's sprint with Fortunato. That's early. Oldani still in the wheel. Let's launch with Oldani right now. Let's hope he can still get past. But Wellens is going to win the stage, I think. It seems at least like that because Oldani is not going to be fast enough to get to the front here. We are losing time with our boy Fortunato. Oldani podiums in third. And the rest seems to be on 23 seconds. So a bit of time lost to Sivakov, but not the end of the world. 138 is the gap now to Yates and 207 to Sivakov just before the final mountain stage. Time for the mountain stage. Goals are simple. Fortunato, red jersey defense and the white jersey attack of Ayuso if possible. But that's only a secondary goal. Thing is, if we want to win that KOM jersey, then we need to be offensive. But I kind of don't want to do that on the final mountain stage when we are in the red jersey, you know? I'm honestly playing it really defensively at the moment because I've got plenty of energy and I feel like attacking on this one with a bit of a value before the next climb is not really useful. So I'll just try and explode the next climb instead. I am pushing a tiny bit towards the top of this climb for one reason only, and that's the fact that I want to win that K1 point at the top. So let's make the move here. Fortunato attacks and tries to get towards the top. And hopefully we can do so taking away the uh, third spot in these points. But Julian von Hills also getting points. Osorio, not really. Anyway, no clue what the KOM standing looks like, but at least we got the points. The break has been caught, and we're pushing on the Nova Serrada final climb of the day. Ropero can take over from Dina when it comes to protecting Fortunato. We use him in the wheel. I'm trying to force it early for one reason only. I need to drop Arensmann as soon as possible. I don't think we're gonna gain 5 minutes 33 on him, but... We can at least try. Oh my god, it's impossible to drop people on this bloody climb. Such a shallow gradient. It's kind of insane. We're not even going to spend all our energy towards the top like this. Let's do 87 instead. Let's try and hammer it. Come on, Fortunato Ayuso. Let's do this together. Ooh, we are getting away with Yates and Hamilton. Arensmann's done for, but we are nearing the top. So no clue how we can keep this up on top, to be honest. Let's work together with the others. Oh, let's do... 70 if possible and uh, let's try and make sure we can gain time on Arden's Mon nah, it's, it's half a minute how the hell am I going to expand that to 5 minutes 33 on a flat section and the descent Sivakov is trying to chase us down we're keeping it up on 85 in that front group descent is coming fairly soon come on team let's keep it up up there all four out of energy and the group behind seems to be out of energy as well so the descent can't come any earlier oh my god Yates has more energy Yates is getting away from us 99 into the descent come on let's follow these two there we go we're still in the group that's great we've got a yuzo with a better acceleration stat so let's go for a stage one with a yuzo oh vingago is crawling back the other group let's still try and keep that group ahead it's 10 seconds almost nothing fortunato on 95 in the descent and they're all back 2.5k to go let's go 99 with fortunato a yuzo in the wheel there we go let's sprint with Fortunato and Ayuso, let's keep it going. O'Connor versus Ayuso versus Yates versus Hamilton. Ayuso tries to come out. Ayuso versus Vingega. It's gonna be Jonas Vingega taking it. Ah, <laughs> come on. Ayuso getting second on the stage. Fortunato in the group, which is the most important part. With only one stage left to ride a flat stage, Lorenzo Fortunato seems pretty secure when it comes to a Giro Vuelta double in the same year, 2024. Oh, wow, we've done it. Two points ahead, Fortunato in the KOM jersey. I forgot about this. Yes, awesome. Unfortunately for Yuzo, Adensmann takes home wide, but let's be honest, we didn't focus on it half the Vuelta. If we did, we could have gotten it, but Adensmann deserves it. One final opportunity for Oldani then. A complete flat stage, 100k. Let's give it a try. 15k to go, last breakaway rider caught. Our four-man train is up and running. Let's try and win the final stage of La Vuelta. 3.5k to go, Fisher Black takes over. Yuzo out of the way, energy shell on our sprinters. There we go. We've got a bit of a descent right here, but it goes uphill from this point onwards. Fisher Black can go. Albanese in the wheel. Let's launch with Albanese. Oldani now as well. Let's get true. Oldani launches. Bauhaus in the wheel. Akerman up there as well. We have limited energy and we will lose this one because the winner will be Philipson, I think. Yes, it seems like Philipson will take it ahead of Demar and Viviani. The winner of the 2024 La Vuelta España is Lorenzo Fortunato. He does the Giro Vuelta double 134 on the 8s. Sivakov finishes off the podium. Ninth, Ayuso. We also bring home the KOM jersey with Lorenzo Fortunato. Osorio fought the entire Vuelta, but his last week wasn't good enough. Oh my god, this stage made a difference for Oldani, because he will be taking home the green jersey instead of Fortunato with one point 
a difference. What a ride by the team. I've got no clue when it comes to how many stage wins we've gotten, but it certainly was a great ride. Three jerseys for the team and almost a fourth one. Five stage wins, three of which Oldani, two of which Fortunato. That is the outcome of this Vuelta. With Lorenzo Fortunato winning two Giros and one Vuelta so far in his career, we have to bring him to the Tour de France in 2025 as one of our co-leaders for certain. I'm afraid that's the end for this episode. We've got two more episodes to come, one of which will be the Euros and the World Championships. And after that, also an episode about the Italian classics and the end of the season. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.